You never know a good thing until it's gone. This is a phrase that emphasizes the fact that you should appreciate what you have in life because you never know what tomorrow will bring. While this is true, you also never know what wonderful experiences life has in store for you if you recognize and accept the need for a change. That is exactly what happened for me. My high school journey began with a class of 500 at Godwin, but will end this May with a class of 57. I made the transition not because of family relocation, social difficulties, or grades, but because I needed balance. Balance between academics and extracurricular activities, balance between the social world and school, balance between time for homework and time for family, balance in life. After being at Stewart for a little over a year, I can say with sincerity that I made the right decision. My world has opened up and I have found balance. Now, with that being said, the Math and Science Center at Godwin High School is an, is an amazing program with exciting and rigorous academics. Some of my experiences there consisted of conducting research on algae, writing a children's book about the digestive system, attending the Metro Richmond Science Fair, and participating in the math modeling competition. This last experience was probably my favorite one at Godwin. Much of the population there thought we were crazy, so you probably will too. But a small portion of us center kids had the privilege of participating in this 36 hour long math competition. Basically, we were given a team with three other people and a real world problem to solve. The next 36 hours consisted of nothing more than debates, calculations, laughter, diagram drawing, 30 page paper writing, and a large quantity of junk food. It was probably one of the most headbanging, delirious, memorable 36 hours of my life. While I was able to participate in activities such as these, I had very little time to pursue my various other interests. Volunteering, going out with friends, piano, and even field hockey, one of my true passions, became stressful as the tests, projects, and homework seemed to loom endlessly. When the things that I am passionate about became a burden during the fall of my junior year, I decided I needed a change. After comparing the many pros and cons of switching schools in the middle of the school year, I mustered the courage to make the transition. Now, it wasn't easy to say the least. I had 40 very close classmates and friends who attended the center with me who I would now be leaving behind. The night before I switched to Stewart also happened to be the night after the math modeling competition, and one of my friends who was on my team suggested that we go to dinner. When I walked into Glory Days, I was greeted by the entire center, the entire field hockey team, and several teachers just to wish me luck and say they would miss me. It was such a humbling and eye-opening experience to see that leaving a school where there are over 500 students in one grade does make an impact. But the next morning I walked into Stewart with an open mind, ready to start the next chapter of my high school career. And one of the first things I remember a student saying to me is, do you like tea? Because you should totally join the tea club. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Woo! And I thought to myself, now that's original and it sounds like fun, but I think I need to focus on my academics first. <laughs> but at that time I also didn't realize it was the unique things, like the now named philanthropic tea and hot beverage society, that makes Stewart so special. Mini Master is just one of these special things. What other high schooler has the opportunity to explore a career interest or another country for a week in the middle of a school year? I excitedly explored the field of statistics, crunching numbers behind a desk, staring at a computer screen all day. <laughs> this experience quickly proved to me that balance is not found. Crunching numbers behind a desk, staring at a computer screen all day. Although I did learn that I enjoyed the research aspect of things. I was also able to audition for and participate in the spring musical production of The Wiz. I never in a million years would have imagined myself standing on a scaffolding eye level with this balcony with my fate in the hands of sixth graders as they rolled the platform in a circle on the stage. <laughs> now that's an experience. This past fall, I was a member of the field hockey team. There's something very special to say about the fact that I joined the team my senior year. By the end of that season, I felt like I'd been on that team all four years of high school. This was due to not only Coach Fratter's endless positive energy, but also the spirit and enthusiasm of a team that was able to see each other in the hallways, in the classrooms, and at lunch every single day, which is something that a small school has to offer. It's also the little things here that make it stand out. Every morning I can count on being greeted by Mrs. Moore, Mr. Mundy, or Mrs. Healy, or another faculty member, always smiling, rain or shine. The small class sizes have allowed me to work with teachers closely. Ms. Simpson spent countless hours with me last year catching up on A push because I was several chapters behind when I switched. I also get to work with Ms. Ackerson down in the Bryan Lab, creating activities that enhance the science curriculum for the lower school students. That's an experience I never would have had anywhere else. 
the, small, the, the junior college tour, the senior lock-in, the senior lounge, getting to work with a college counselor like Ms. Jeter, that 10 minute break every day, being able to eat lunch and work outside when it's pretty, and the list goes on and on and on about the wonderful attributes that Stewart has to offer. Coming here was probably one of the most difficult, yet best decisions I've made so far in my life. I've not only been able to meet 56 classmates who each have their own unique story to share, but I've also found the balance in life that I was looking for. It is imperative to never lose yourself or what you're passionate about to the hectic nature of life. Taking a moment to step back and find that balance is sometimes all it takes to find yourself. Thank you.